Hello Aries, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Happy Halloween, by the way. Very exciting time of the year. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, especially if this reading resonates with you, and that way you won't miss any of the daily, weekly, or monthly tarot readings that we do for Aries. All right, let's get into it. See, what does Aries need to know? What is the situation for Aries this coming week? All right, well, wonderful. We've got the Ace of Cups to start us out. Let's put that into some context with the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread. And that is going to include this mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card, whatever you want to call it. We're going to leave it right there. We're not going to look at that until the very end. And hopefully that is going to tie the reading together or give us that confirmation that we're looking for. Okay. So we have received this Ace of Discs. I mean, sorry, Ace of Cups. There's some other discs here that I'm very excited about, but we'll get to that in a second. This Ace of Cups here, I think the situation this week is really one about uh, a new romantic experience, a new opportunity for um, satisfaction, fulfillment, pleasure, the exchange of affection and that kind of love energy, right? I think, um, I think romance has been on your mind lately. I think you're starting to consider um, what your ideal relationship would look like. Now, you could be in a relationship now, and you're starting to wonder how to um, really experience that, that feeling of being in love again, that passion, that you know really deep connected energy, that exchange of affection and a love energy. Now, if you're single right now, I think this has still been on your mind lately, is trying to, trying to learn or discover how to bring that about in your life, how to kind of invoke that type of feeling, that love energy, right? But I think that's what the situation is about this week. I really think that it's a very, it's a very like romantic time in your life where that is really kind of on your mind. Your heart is really like kind of yearning for that kind of experience, right? And now we see this universe or world card that's kind of crossing this, this week, all right? I think that there is some sort of a delay. There's something that is preventing you from experiencing this full sense of love and fulfillment, right? And satisfaction and affection. Something is in the way of you really falling in love, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean with another person. It could be just with an idea. It could be with existence or life or, or the things that you are, you're doing, the things that you're passionate about, just that feeling of being in love again, right? When we think, when we think romance, we automatically go to, um, you know, like a courtly kind of love or, you know, uh, a romantic relationship with another person. But romance is, is kind of just the feeling we get when we are fulfilling our nature, when we are experiencing uh, the world or life or ourselves or other people too, in a way that is just um, really deeply connected, right? It's really like that harmonious exchange. It's like the you know, that kind of feeling of love and awe and wonder that we get maybe when we're out in nature or going on a hike or in the presence of, you know, great mountains or the ocean or, or any kind of flowing water. You know, it's that sense of connectedness that we, that we get, that we experience. And that's what I think your, your week is kind of centered on. Now, I think that's probably in the realm of romance with another person, right? And I say that because we've got a couple of court cards here that are kind of suggesting to me that it might be kind of, you're trying to kind of navigate this relationship with someone, right? Either a current person that you're with or someone that maybe you have your eye on or somebody that you're talking to. I see that there's some indication that you might be talking to someone in particular this week, but I do get this world card or universe card telling me that there's something in the way, there's something kind of slowing things down or preventing things from moving forward. Okay, let's see if we could get to the bottom of this. Now, uh, we're going to go, I guess, to this recent past. This court card here, this is, um, it could, since you are Aries, that's a fire sign, right? This is the Prince of Wands. This is a fiery energy card. And I think this is the issue that you're kind of bringing to the table today, right? And I think this is like some sort of 
urgency, some sort of rush or like hectic energy about you. It could be that you, you either quickly got in or out of a relationship recently. It could be that you've, um, you've met this particular person that, that maybe you have in mind now. You've met this particular person and you want things to progress quickly. You're being rather forward, rather hurried or rushed about it, right? I'm getting this sense like you kind of want, you want like a year's worth of dating to kind of just, you know, hurry up and happen within a few days, right? You really want to get, get to the point here already. So there's a sense of rush. There's a sense of hurry. There's a sense of, of urgency about things. And again, this could be that you've, you maybe quickly entered or exited a relationship recently, or in terms of this person that you're talking to now, it's something that you have this sense of urgency about and you want things to just hurry along and get to the point, right? So this is that energy that I'm seeing. And yet you're running into this universe or world card where things aren't happening very quickly. Things are kind of stalled out right now. And maybe with some of these other cards, we'll find out kind of why that might be or give you some insight into that. But it's like you have this sense of urgency. You want to rush forward quickly, but you can't. There's something in the way. There's something that's just slowing. Things are just not moving very quickly. Things are not happening. Okay. Now we also see, well, let's go down here first to the, the seven of discs. This is just below the surface. This is like maybe what is going on with you on a more subconscious level. Maybe what is the foundation of this experience or this situation, what it's kind of resting on. And I think you've put a lot of work into your past relationships, or if you're in a relationship now, this could still apply. It may resonate either way with, with some of you. Um, but this is the sense that you've put a lot of work into this and it's just not giving you that emotional fulfillment that you're looking for. That pleasure, that satisfaction, that really deep fulfillment, that deep love connection, right? That feeling of being in love of really like, this is your soulmate. This is the one, this is, you know, all of the joy and beauty and pleasure that you could hope for. You've been putting in a lot of work, either with this current relationship or in the past relationship. You've really tried very hard and it just doesn't seem to happen. There's something that's not falling into place, something that's not really clicking. There's something in the way, there's something stalling things out, preventing you from experiencing this ace of cups. All right. And so that this is kind of underneath the surface. This might be why there's this sense of maybe this is more of a sense of frustration with this urgency, this kind of hectic energy that I'm feeling. It might be some frustration. It might be like, look, I've been through this a dozen times. Let's just hurry up and get to the point. Let's see if this is going to be this ace of cups situation. If not, Time to move on, but let's do it quickly. No more wasting time, right? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting with this Prince of Wands here. And I think it's because there's been a lot of effort in this domain that hasn't really given you the fulfillment or satisfaction that you've been looking for, all right? Now, up here at the top, and this card at this position at the top here kind of encapsulates the whole reading in a nutshell. It tells us kind of in essence, or in one succinct message, what this reading is about. You have a very specific plan for yourself, for your future, for what your ideal partnership, romantic relationship would look like. You have a very clear blueprint. And this is the Six of Swords. This is showing that you have a very, very clear, well thought out idea, a very definite, well thought out plan. What you want, how you want it to look, where it's gonna go, what, you know, step one, two, three, and four, all the way down the line would look like. You have it very well thought out. And this, I think, is what the reading is about generally is your need to have things in this kind of orderly organized fashion 
things are supposed to follow this blueprint. And when they don't, it kind of throws you off. It kind of, it's a little bit of like, um, you know, that uh, the wrench in the wheels there or the, you know, the cog in the machine kind of that just throws, throws things off balance and maybe reverts you back to this kind of hectic, frantic, almost kind of rushing urgency, that kind of fiery energy. And I think, you know, it's good to have this blueprint. It's good to have a good idea, a map of where you want to go, what you want to do. But the map is not the territory, right? The experience, the adventure itself is going to be different than this map. It's good to have the map with you. But I guarantee it's going to look a lot different in person than it does on the map. Okay. And I think this is kind of the, the main theme here, the main idea that's summarizing maybe the whole reading this week is that um, you're really trying to stick to this map. You're really trying to follow your own blueprint here. But the reality is not quite that way. But to kind of go right along with that, in the immediate future, we see the Magus, the Magician, the Juggler card. This is that energy that really is allowing you to create the kind of life that you want. It really is kind of taking this blueprint, and this is the actual you know, master mason or the carpenter that, that is going to do the work to create using the elements available, using its own talents and skills and the available materials to create the life that you want to take this blueprint and make it a reality. Right. But the main key here, the main theme of that is this blueprint has to really be coming from like the master architect, right? Like your true being, your highest, most innermost self, right? From your true spirit. Otherwise, it may be just what you kind of think you want or what your mind or what your ego has planned for you, the ideal situation for it, for your ego. And it may not pan out that way. And that might be causing this kind of a delay. You may be trying to force something along that isn't really meant to be for you. Okay, and that could be what is preventing this magician, this master mason, this carpenter from really building this life for you, from you being able to create the reality that you're looking for and to have this Ace of Cups part of your life manifested, fulfilled, satisfied, this kind of deep love connection. So part of the, the issue may be reevaluating what you think this blueprint is all about. Maybe reformulating this a little bit or just doing some introspection to see if this is really what it is that you want. If your plans, if your blueprints are really true to you, to yourself. Right. And that could be part of the blockage here. There could just be this because, you know, remember with this world universe card, things have slowed down. Things are kind of delayed, stalled. Things are not happening very quickly. You're not making any progress really right now. You're kind of idling. And it could be that you have some un unrealistic expectations. You have some plans that you're trying to put into play, trying to force along that aren't really meant for you, that aren't really true for you. And that could be why this Master Mason, this Magician, this Carpenter, this Magus card, Mercury here, it's not doing its work yet, right? You're not creating your reality. You're not manifesting your will yet. Because I think there might still be some confusion as to what your will truly is. What you really, really do desire. Okay. So let's move over to the path of the serpent now. We have some more interesting energy over here. The first one is this disc. This is the princess of discs. This is where your ego is at, where your head is at, what you've kind of been thinking about a lot lately. And this is that 100% fulfillment and satisfaction in every realm of your life, right? This is physical satisfaction and fulfillment. This is emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. This is intellectual stimulation. This is spiritual fulfillment, 
So this is that kind of relationship that you want that is wonderful, satisfying, 110% on every level, right? It's not lacking anything. It is just absolutely complete and abundant and satisfying and fulfilling on every level. Your physical needs are met. Your emotional needs are met. Your intellectual needs are met. You're intellectually stimulated by, by this relationship and spiritually, creatively. Gives you that sense of joy and wonder and awe and that sense of vitality, right? Spiritual fulfillment. And so this is what you're looking for. This is kind of what's been on your mind. And maybe what this looks like in reality is different than what you've always planned or what you thought it would look like, this kind of blueprint that you've had. Now, you still want all of this fulfillment on every level of your being, right? And you want that fulfilled through this relationship or with this rela or in harmony with this person, this relationship. And I think that is possible. Um, I think there has to be some room for the shifting energies, right? You can't have this absolute blueprint and think that the, the world has to conform to your ideas, right? Because I guarantee you, the person that we're talking about, the other person involved, has their own plan, their own blueprint of what their ideal life or situation or, you know, uh, soulmate situation would look like, right? So it's kind of about compromise. It's kind of about blending your plans with somebody else's plans, learning that compromise, learning to make changes and adapt as you go along, right? And I think that's kind of, that's part of what this two of wands here and this position is in relation to your interactions with this other person. Maybe on a more energetic or spiritual level. It could be that the two of you are really in this kind of maybe unconscious power struggle for whose plan, whose ideals, whose priorities or expectations um, are going to win out over the others. Right, so there's this power struggle here. And I think because the two of you both want the best thing, like you both want absolute fulfillment, you both want this princess of discs energy, fulfillment, satisfaction on every level of your life. But that creates this unconscious power struggle where each of you are kind of trying to dominate and to really put into play this master mason, this carpenter, this magician energy to manifest your life according to your ideals, according to your will. But that has to be done in conjunction with this other person. It has to be a shared experience. It has to be, uh, it has to involve a little bit of compromise, a little bit of yielding on both sides. So there's this power struggle here, right? And now the next card that we have, interestingly, this is in the position of your fears, worries, concerns. This is that fear that you have to get over. And I think this is the fear of, of um, you know, being maybe in what would be considered a traditional uh, relationship or living a, a traditional life, right? So this, this Hierophant card is kind of this, this fear that you have of just kind of, I want to say kind of just being normal or being like too mainstream or too traditional. And that's your fear. That's your worry. You don't want to be just like everybody else following the mainstream, just kind of swimming with the current. Everybody's doing the same thing. Very traditional. I don't, I don't think that's your vibe. I think you're kind of worried that you may be falling into a traditional kind of life or lifestyle and that worries you. That is the obstacle to get over. Having that worry is something I think that is holding you back. That's leading to some of this delay. Is that maybe you're too focused on how your life or your lifestyle will be perceived 
Like you don't want to seem, you don't want other people to get the idea that you're just kind of mainstream or traditional or average, something like that. It's that worry that needs to be overcome. Not that this is saying you need to be okay with being mainstream or traditional or average. Because if, if that's not your vibe, that's not your vibe. But to be concerned about it is causing some of this delay. And so I think by overcoming the fear of being traditional, right there, you're breaking with tradition, right? To not be concerned about tradition or the mainstream, to not even worry about it. If you are, you are. If you're not, you're not. Who cares? If you get over this, right there is breaking with tradition. Right there is going against the grain. Does that make sense? And so I think getting over this will hopefully clear up some of this delay that is, is in the way of you really manifesting and achieving this deeply connected love soulmate kind of situation, this really being in love and being fulfilled on every level of your being. Okay. Now the final card that we see on the path of the serpent is the tower card. And this kind of is the tradition, right? The mainstream being really torn down. It's really a defiance of tradition. It's really like you're just, you're completely going against the grain where you're, you're tearing down those systems, right? You're tearing down that kind of uh, the stereotype or the, the tradition or the ideals or that kind of mainstream vibe. You're tearing that down by not really giving a shit about it anymore. By just getting rid of the concern for that, I think you're breaking with that tradition. You're tearing that system down in some relative way, obviously. And I think that's going to be very liberating from you, for, for you. I think you're going to be liberated from this concern for, you know, a tradition and, and stereotypes and that sort of mainstream thing. You're going to be freed from that. You're going to be freed from whatever the delay is that is slowing down your achievement of this satisfaction, this, this love, this Ace of Cups. Right? And I think that's going to be a very liberating experience for you. I think you're going to be freed from this kind of traditional way of thinking, right? This concern for just being part of the institution of life, of living, of, of love or whatever, you know, that kind of tradition, that institution, that mainstream. You're going to be breaking free of the concern for that. And I think that's going to be very liberating. I think that's what this tower energy is all about. You finding that freedom. And clearing up whatever blockage this is, which I think this is all related, clearing up that blockage that's delaying your fulfillment, your achievement of this satisfaction in this kind of a relationship, right? So Aries, let's look now at this mystery card, this confirmation card. And, you know, sometimes I get an idea of what this might be before we even reveal it. You know, I, I might say that this could be the emperor for you today. The emperor is the card that, that rules Aries. So this might be your day. This might be your card. You're in control. You're the authority. You're the boss here. You have this fiery sense of urgency, but maybe now more controlled, more disciplined, more understanding of how to go about achieving your goals, right? This could be some more cups because, you know, looking at all of these cards, the only water, the only cups that we had was this ace. This is what you need to get to, but there are no other cups here. So there's all this other energy first that you have to deal with before you can get to the water, to the cups, to that love, to that deep connection. Let's just see what this is. Yeah. 10 of cups. So we went from this ace of cups, right? This is what you were after. This was the beginning of things. You wanted this. Getting through all of this other energy. Path of the dove, path of the serpent, clearing away all of this stuff. 
you're gonna lead now to the 10 of cups. And that is the ultimate achievement. That is the ultimate final fulfillment of this ace of cups. The ace of cups is the one becomes the 10, right? Completely realized, manifested, love, satisfaction, pleasure. You're gonna achieve your ideals. This is, this is a wonderful confirmation. I couldn't have, have predicted a better card for this position, right? Because it comes full circle. We go from one to 10. And that is kind of, you know, on the scale of one to 10, you're gonna hit that 10, or you're gonna get very close to it. I always say with the nine and 10 of cups that I like the nine better. The 10 is kind of, you've already, you've, you've reached the finish line, there's, there's nowhere else to go, nothing else to do, nothing else to strive for, nothing else to experience. But with the nine of cups, it leaves you a little bit less, a little bit more to strive for. One cup is a little bit empty, so you can still work towards more experience, more fulfillment, right? But in this case, I think it's very symbolic that we go from one to 10. We go from just starting out, just trying to get into this realm of water and get this love connection to complete and utter satisfaction and fulfillment in this area, this domain of your life. Now, as a confirmation, as kind of a prediction for the future, I don't know that you're gonna reach the 10. I wouldn't quite want to if I were you. 9.5, that, that would be good. Even an, you know, an eight or a nine even would be wonderful. But this 10 is the ideal. This is the ultimate fulfillment that anyone could ever dream of achieving. And you're gonna get pretty darn close to this. This is a wonderful confirmation. Now, Aries, we're going to take a look at this a little bit more in the extended version. So um, go ahead and click on the link in the description box, become a member of this channel, and then you'll have access to all of the extended readings for all of the monthly and weekly readings that we do. Uh, this was your weekly tarot forecast here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. Oh, that's cold.